Haven't these women been through enough? For the Colson Center, I'm John Stone Street with The Point. When a drunk, belligerent, and obviously injured man showed up at a faith-based refuge shelter for abused women in Anchorage, Alaska, the shelter, called the Downtown Hope Center, referred him to a hospital and even picked up his taxi fare. And the city of Anchorage was so grateful, it took legal action against the shelter for not letting the man, who identifies as a woman, stay overnight in the same room with the battered women. Oh, and by the way, the shelter continued to help the man with food and other resources, even while he attempted to shut them down. Well, thankfully, last week, a federal district court sided with the shelter and handed down a preliminary injunction against the city. As Alliance Defending Freedom Senior Counsel Kate Anderson put it, women deserve a safe place to stay overnight. No woman, especially an abuse survivor, should be forced to sleep or disrobe next to a man. Seems like common sense to me, but not according to trans ideology. For more on faith and culture, come to breakpoint.org. I'm John Stone Street.